Physicians from University Medical Center help critically injured people in the war-torn country of Ukraine. As Olivia Vidal reports, the doctors say it was a life-changing experience. When we landed and we saw anti-aircraft missiles uh, lining all around the airports, it was a very sobering experience to realize that you are not home. You are in a faraway land that where war was very real. Since February, Russia has been on the attack, invading Ukraine, causing devastation and mass casualties. The, the people of Ukraine did not ask for this war, but they're putting on heroic faces in dealing with a uh, unimaginable enemy. Dr. Jeffrey Carter at University Medical Center was one of several burn surgeons across the U.S. selected to go to Lviv, Ukraine to help care for patients impacted by war. We saw tremendous injuries, uh, the, the kinds of injuries we've only seen with uh, nat natural disasters here in the New Orleans area. While many suffered catastrophic, life-altering injuries, others were preparing for war. A lot of young men with their families, their wives and their children, and you could tell that they were uh, about to be deployed. And so they were uh, saying goodbyes. You could tell that the country has really been impacted by a tremendous tragedy. The mission hits close to home for some, like nurse Mario Rivera, who accompanied Dr. Carter in Lviv. The type of war they're, they're fighting uh, are completely different than the wars that I fought while I was in active duty. Rivera served as nurse officer in the Army for 22 years. He has experience treating combat injuries from his time spent in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Syria. When one of the casualties that actually was, you know, complex uh, polytrauma, multiple amputations, uh, uh, came to a hospital in, in the middle of the night, uh, my former boss, actually in the military, was with us. Uh, and it was, it was a second nature of, as we are treating the casualty and we look at each other and, and we, we were talking with our eyes saying, we've seen this, this type of injuries before. Seeing these injured soldiers and civilians in Ukraine brought back a flood of memories from his past. We had a, a Ukrainian aviator, we had an Ukrainian soldier with, with devastating injuries, but through the entire process, all they're sharing with us was how thankful they are that we were there. You know, they were sharing pictures of families and sharing pictures of loved ones. Uh, and, and that took me back in a real good way. For both he and Dr. Carter, it was a challenging mission, knowing war was nearby. But through it, they each found inspiration. We went over there expecting to see a lot of um, sites where of you know missile attacks and a lot of destruction. And what we found was a a beautiful country, uh, a beautiful culture, uh, very welcoming, kind people, um, a lot of heroic faces. A mission that reignited their passion for what they do, taking care of people in times of great need. Nearly one and a half million dollars in donations from the Spirit of Charity Foundation at UMC allowed the medical professionals to bring their expertise to Lviv. Both Dr. Carter and Rivera spent about a month there and say they would be happy to go back to help treat patients. Lee? All right, Olivia. Officials near